Better weather. That's what Cardano is hoping for. We're going to get into it. We're going to talk some Chang hard fork updates and get into some of the IOG uh, and some of their statements as we await for the new launch date uh, for the Chang hard fork. So let's get down into it. This is one of the bigger news stories going on with everything ADA right here. Uh, we're going to break it all down for you guys. If you haven't done so, please subscribe to the channel. Smash that like button, and if you do hold ADA, put those uh, put those letters down below in the chat. Put that ADA. Let's get the ADA gang uh, popping off in this Sunday. Uh, forgive me, I've had a little bit too much coffee uh, trying to wake up this morning, so we're a little bit jittery. We're a little um, talking a little fast, and uh, we're gonna have some fun with this one because I think this is gonna be one of the bullish stories uh, for ADA, and they don't come too often. But when we do get uh, some of the steam come out from the top. Um, that's where it's always a good thing to be alive in holding Cardano. Um, and quite frankly, it's very interesting to understand that a, a lot of Cardano holders are in profit. Uh, myself, do not fall into that category. We're getting close with all the dollar cost averaging, but uh, we are still firmly um, in one of the worst trades ever made in my life. Uh, but we will kind of tip the cap to the future because that is where we look for Cardano to get back above $3. And then we're all going to be happy. Okay, but here's kind of where we're at. Uh, let's get into that IOG postponement where we do, are going to launch on the 1st of September. Um, I was looking at the crypto bubbles a little earlier today. Uh, forgive that XRP talk that was pulled up, um, but that's okay. Uh, very bullish on XRP as well. Uh, but we look at the crypto bubbles and you can see we've given back a lot of the gains that we've had this weekend. Um, and quite frankly, after seeing back-to-back 10-plus -back percent for a lot of crypto um, kind of boomers there into the green. Um, I'm not going to be mad at giving 3% back on the Sunday. Take your profits. Let's get into Monday and let's start trading into the green once more. All right. And for ADA, you can see exactly what I'm talking about. We have got surpassed by Tron. So I think we got a little bit of a Duke session going on where we're going to be duking it out. Um, and these cryptos, you know, it's about $170 million separating them. But very interesting because when we look at Tron and the controversy surrounding them uh, with what's going on with, you know, Telegram, all that good stuff, uh, ADA's kind of just been hanging out, man. And I'll tell you, 40 cents is a great, great spot. If you were new to Cardano and you were just kind of screwing around in crypto, uh, kind of like I did. Um, unfortunately, I did it at the wrong time period. But if you're just screwing around um, with Cardano back when... You know, we were talking about it at 19 cents. We were buying ADA at 19 cents, 21 cents, 23 cents, making jokes uh, that, you know, if you could hold a quarter in your hand or own one ADA, to uh, one ADA, which would you prefer, okay? And I think that's a video that I need to make again because, quite frankly, um, it's still, in my opinion, at a discount, okay? And historically within the Chang Hard Fork, this is why this date is so important uh, because... We've historically seen incredible pumps for Cardano with all their hard forks that they were able to uh, complete. Now, being a pivotal upgrade for ADA, this is something where it's a major step forward towards total decentralization, okay? Community-driven governance, that would get the SEC off of our backs, get the regulators off our backs, and then all the FUD with Hoskinson would then uh, begin to subse subside. Um, and that would be huge as we, you know, really try to get into Voltaire on the right direction. I think people firmly don't understand uh, their roadmap. And um, I, I talk about it, too, and it's going to sound funny, but just a way like an analogy is to me is like I feel like the rest of the crypto world, um, like, you know, like roadmaps for projects. And I know it's all techie blockchain stuff, but to me, it just comes off as like, OK, um, you know, those are going to be like just watching the movie, like it just feels so scientific and techy. Like uh, that's like watching a movie, like um, uh, like a Lord of the Rings movie, okay? You're watching the Lord of the Rings, okay? Um, and I feel like Cardano, for some weird reason, the best analogy I can come up with is that it's like reading the actual book of the Lord of the Rings. And it's not for everybody. Some people want that quick fix. They just want to watch the movie and move on with their way. Um and, you know, quite frankly, it's just kind of how I, I like to describe it. It's my analogy. Call me weird. Call me whatever you want. I don't really care. Um, but that's kind of what's holding Cardano back is just people aren't into books anymore. Okay. They want it quick. They want it. They want to see it. They want to feel it. Uh, they want the special effects. And I think that's kind of what's holding them back. All right. 
but within this hard fork, I think this is going to allow for these things to happen. And at the core of this is that on-chain governance, okay? Uh, the decentralized model from the IOG is going to be one that's going to allow for them to really spread their wings. And within these changes, you know, you're going to see a lot more security, efficiency, and scalability, right? That trilemma within crypto that's going to allow developers to really do what they want to do in the Cardano world, okay? But also, uh, this is something where it's going to create a lot more challenges too. Uh, they're not going to launch in conditions when uh, they don't want, they're not going to get the full effect, I should say. And right now, we've looked at that liquidity and all that stuff like that and, and how much have been upgraded to those nodes. And the numbers are close, but they're not there. We're waiting on, we're waiting on the main exchanges. And, you know, obviously, we're seeing this with meme coin launches. We're seeing this with altcoins. Nobody wants to do anything and launch in bad environments, okay? And that's, I think, what Cardano is doing. They're waiting for 70% of stake pool operators to do this upgrade. They need 80% of that liquidity. And it's just something where this is one of their larger scale upgrades, and they're not ready uh, They're not ready for ADA. It's not, Cardano, it's not that Cardano is ready. Other people aren't ready uh, to uh, accept this upgrade, okay? So that's kind of where we're at. Um, I think Hoskinson's been doing a hell of a job this year. I think it's better than 2023. Um, I look at him as a kind of a stepping stone, if you will, right? Cardano wants to become truly decentralized. A lot of the FUD is Hoskinson, but he's kind of that gap that's going to take the old ADA and bridge to the new ADA down this roadmap, and then Cardano will be able to prosper on their own without the helps of anybody because they would be truly decentralized, okay? So that's kind of how I view it. Um, you know, apologies if I went a little off script right there. I just wanted to be a little candid with my with my thoughts because this could be the kind of the tipping uh, point for us as holders because when I've seen the previous hard forks and I look at the, the chart data, um, it's been pretty, pretty fair, uh, fairly uh, exciting. Uh, so if we get anything like that and you couple that with the fact that Bitcoin is, you know, 64,000, if you believe that the market's going to turn, this hard fork could be very, very bullish, okay? Uh, September 1st, so that's where we're at. We got a couple days, less than a week, but we are still coming um, and it's still happening. Uh, it's just not gonna be in a couple days. It's gonna be in a few more. So uh, that's what I have for you guys. Uh, I did wanna share with you guys today's channel sponsor. If you do do any leverage trading, um, I know this is at the end of the video, so forgive me, but um, if you do do any leverage trading, make sure you guys click my link down below. Uh, get signed up with Margex today. Um, that's where you can have that link provide you with a discount on trading fees. Uh, you can register to claim up to $10,000 in bonuses. And once you do sign up, go check out the copy trading feature uh, within Margex. Um, me personally, I just, you know, if I'm trading leverage, it's it's only the big ones, Bitcoin or Ethereum or Solana for that matter. Uh, Solana is a great one in my opinion, obviously not financial advice. But within that, uh, it's it's truly volatile. So you have to make sure that it's right for you. Know what you're doing. Do your own research, due diligence. And if you don't, that's why I want you to check out that copy trading feature because uh, you could look at the leaderboard. You could copy each and every move these traders make. And at the end of the day, um, look at their returns and you can have those exact returns if you uh, do the copy trading feature within Margex. Uh, but this is just uh, leverage trading, not spot trading. So uh, make sure it's right for you. No KYC. So uh, if it's right for you and you want to get started trading today, sign up using my link down below for Margex. All right. But uh, we're going to end on that. I appreciate you guys. A little here in my rant. Uh, got all jazzed up uh, talking some ADA here this morning. Uh, if you want to subscribe to the channel, awesome. Please do so. Links down below. Um, and we'll see you guys all in the next one. Cheers.